Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and this is probably the last video I'm going to make about Black Friday. I wasn't actually planning to make this many, but one, there were just a lot more questions than I expected from players who weren't sure how to spend their money in their crystals, and two, we didn't have any content, and I was expecting content, expecting a mid-month or, or some, another mid-month or something like that based on the way that the updates were going and based on just Cap and Punisher coming out of nowhere for the, uh, the Veterans Day celebration so that leads me into a subtopic that i want to cover in today's video before we get to the dollar deals and that's basically when you can expect sneak peeks for the next update now to stay as up to date as possible you want to join the discord discord.gg slash the new meta and you probably want to check out the um or have it like notify you when it when there's posts because we have a channel specifically for marvel future fight twitter that updates every time they tweet so if you never want to miss a sneak peek, that is how you do it. And plus, there's tons of fun stuff to do on the Discord besides that. Uh, however, with only two days left on the future pass, this is what I'm expecting. I'm expecting later this week, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Eastern time, uh, that they are going to drop uh, sneak peeks for the next update and presumably the last update of the year because we are in very late November. I'm not expecting a huge update because December updates tend to be smaller, but I'm still holding out you know, naive hope, optimistic hope that uh, Black Panther gets a tier four in a new uniform for, for BP2, maybe sure he gets something new. Um, and we, we sort of see what goes from there. But uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit let down by the lack of a follow up for uh, Wakanda forever. However, again, something that supports the idea that we're getting something else uh, is that there was a data mined uh, collector's vault. And the collector's vault this time is going to be M'Baku. So Again, it sort of gives me uh, Wakanda Forever Part 2 vibes, but we'll have to wait and see. Anywho, as far as the dollar deals go, okay, I wanted to talk about this because not only are these good deals from a from a value point of view, if you only have a few dollars to spend, you have a gift card for a birthday or Christmas or something like that. Not only are these good, but they can also get you the Black Panther power saving theme. So remember, I, I mentioned a while ago that you get 10 free Black Friday tokens. They're right there at the top. But you need another 15 to finish the uh, to, to, to purchase the Black uh, Panther power saving mode if, if you want that. So originally I had said that the best way to do that until Cyber Monday was these uh, Black Friday gift chests. Well, now we have two alternative options. We have the dollar deals and we have this new one uh, called the Cyber Monday mini relay. It's sandwiched in between the ISO set and the tier four pack. So it's easy to miss. But essentially, this is a dollar and then two dollars and then four dollars and then uh, 550 and then seven dollars it's pretty competitive as far as the crystals go but you're basically just buying this for the crystals and then for the black friday tokens because you get five uh, uh 11 uh 13 50 you get 50 you get exactly 15 tokens so you purchase this whole relay i don't know if this is i actually didn't sit down and do the math if this is a bit more expensive than those chests it's a bit more flexible in terms of the rewards and i think it's a bit better in terms of the crystals that you get like the the value for crystals but yeah, this Cyber Monday mini relay pack is not bad if you're just looking to get exactly 15 tokens to get the power saving theme. But I, what I wanted to spend a little bit more time was on the dollar deals. These are quite nice. 300 crystal, whoops, 300 crystals for a dollar is very, very nice. And then you get the two tokens and you can buy that three times. So that's six tokens. So you can sort of mix and match. I think that's the best deal in the shop for the dollar store stuff, the, the crystals. The second best deal, I think, is the boost points. 300 boost points is very nice for a dollar US or a dollar 40 Canadian. You also get two uh, of the tokens per uh, up to six. And then you also get the opportunity to just get one GBR run in a day and just be done with it and get 500, get get your 150 soul of the foul team. I wish it was 500 uh, and just be done with it. And then third, the only other thing besides the boost points and the crystals that I would buy in the dollar shop is the energy. It's 450 energy for a dollar. That is very nice. And it has a 60 day expiry once you buy it and it goes into your inventory if you don't use it immediately. So you can hoard it for 60 days in case we get an epic quest in the next two months. It's very unlikely. We've only gotten an epic quest once in January and it was for the Fantastic Four back in 2019. Um, but we also have gotten epic quests very late in the year, like when we got Dark Avengers last year. So there's a possibility. I'm not saying it's a guarantee. I'm just saying there's a small possibility and some people like doing that sort of things. And plus it's still 450 energy. You can use that to farm dispatch, to farm a bunch of rifts. Like it's it's not uh, an insignificant amount of energy to just pay for a dollar or just to, to buy for a dollar. Everything else in the dollar shop, I would not get. But yeah, because you can buy all three of those three times, 
that's eight that's 18 tokens so you could do like the crystals three times the boost points three times and the energy twice um which would be eight dollars plus tax or whatever your conversion for currency is uh us from from us uh, and then you'd have enough to you'd have 16 tokens you'd have one more than you need for the black panther power saving mode so yeah that's probably what i'm gonna do uh, but i just wanted to let you guys know about that considering it expires in two days and uh yeah that about wraps it up for black friday hopefully the next update is a bit of a banger because we need some blood to get pumped into this game i'm a little worried because december and january tend to be very lull slow months for the game but uh, i remain cautiously optimistic because who knows maybe they'll surprise us with something big an epic quest or something like that that would probably be the best way to wake people up but uh, we'll have to just wait and see and then you know just straight up cross my fingers and toes for uh black panther what kind of forever part two we still haven't seen the collector's vault by the way there's going to be a collector's vault for mbaku's uh artifact so that sort of gives me hope that they're going to do a part two for shuri for black panther maybe nimona nimora uh atuma stuff like that so yeah that's it hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think thank you so much for watching tier 4 ranking coming up soon we will say goodbye to the black friday stuff and start moving into the december watch mojo top 10 lists uh by yours truly so yeah get hyped for that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care